Hello everyone, welcome back to ESL Trail. I am MNB Achari. In today's news article video, we are going to discuss this news article headlined Police Arrest 58 Year Old Woman for Son's Murder. You are going to learn these expressions in this video. Have a look at them. Shall we proceed? Okay, here is the headline. Let's look at the headline first. The headline is Police Arrest 58 Year Old Woman for Son's Murder. So, the only word that you need to understand here is murder. I mean, most of you know this word, but there are a few people who want to know it further. Murder is a noun here, it's the crime of deliberately killing someone. I mean, with some plan. So, killing somebody deliberately is murder. That's the crime. Okay, the woman is 58 year old and police finally arrested her. Okay, let's move to the first paragraph of the article. Prakasam police announced a breakthrough into the case of a missing person named K. Narasimha Rao here on Friday. Prakasam police, means Prakasam district police announced a breakthrough into the case of a missing person. What is this breakthrough? Breakthrough is a phrasal noun. Actually, it comes from the phrasal verb break through. But there is no space here. You have to notice it. Breakthrough. It's a phrasal noun. It acts as a noun. So what is this breakthrough? It's a new discovery about something. So what has been discovered here? The police have discovered something new about this missing person's case. Okay, let's see what that is. Here is the second paragraph. Let me read it. Narasim Harao, 35, of Dubagunta village near Kandukur, had gone missing some four months ago, leaving the police baffled as to his whereabouts. Their investigations hit a dead end until they finally got a tip off on August 8, hinting at the role of the missing man's mother. This is interesting. Narasim Harao of Dubagunta village near Kandukur had gone missing. Look at this expression, go missing. If you say someone goes missing, or someone has gone missing, you say that person has disappeared and nobody knows where that person is, whether that person is alive or dead. So here Narasim Harao had gone missing, had disappeared. So it happened four months ago, leaving the police... It happened four months ago, leaving the police baffled. Look at this word baffled here. It's an adjective which means confused. So this thing confused the police because they couldn't find out where that person was or what happened to that person, whether that person was dead or alive. Look at the next ones here, as to his whereabouts. As to means about or concerning. You'll come across this one at the later part of the news article again. As to means about, about his whereabouts. Look at this word whereabouts. The place where somebody or something is. Here we are discussing a person, Narasim Harao. The police could not uh, find out where that person was. Okay, look at the next lines here. Their investigations hit a dead end until they finally got a tip off. So their investigations hit a dead end. Their investigations means the investigations made by the police people hit a dead end. Let's look at that expression here, hit a dead end. It means reach a situation where no more progress is possible. It means here they could not proceed further in their investigations. And finally, on August 8, look at this year, they finally got a tip off. So what is this tip off? Interesting one. Again, this is a phrasal noun, which means a secret piece of information. Look at this year, a secret piece of information found by somebody here, found by the police hinting at the role of the missing man's mother. So finally, they got a clue, they got a secret piece of information about the role played by the mother in the murder of this man, Nageshwar Rao. Let's see what happened next. 
Police began tracking the phone calls made by Narasimha Rao's mother after she failed to give satisfactory replies as to what transpired with her son before his disappearance. A detailed investigation then revealed that Narasimha Rao was murdered by a contract killer hired by none other than his mother, police said. So police began tracking the phone calls. What is the meaning of tracking? So track means here to search for a person or to search for something. So here, police tracked the phone calls made by Narasimha Rao's mother. It's not a person here, it's something. It means phone calls. They tracked the phone calls and the mother, I mean the woman, failed to give satisfactory replies. As to what transpired with her son. As to means about concerning. So she could not give satisfactory answers to the police about what happened transpired look at this word here transpired means happened she could not tell them what happened to her son before his disappearance and a detailed investigation then revealed revealed means showed that narsimhara was murdered by a contract killer a contract killer is someone who takes money from somebody in order to kill someone so hired by none other than his mother police said so none other than we use this one when we uh, express our surprise about something or somebody like this it's none other than the murdered man's mother okay hired let's look at this hire here to employ someone for a short time to do a particular job <laughs> yet the job is nothing but killing killing that man narasimha rao so that contract killer was employed, so was asked by this woman to kill her son. Now let's look at the next paragraph. The woman was identified as Lakshmamba, 58. Police arrested the woman as well as eight other persons for their involvement in the murder. Analysis of call data records revealed that Narasimhara was murdered by a rowdy cheater named Raghav Rao at the behest of the deceased man's mother, Lakshmamba, who was reportedly vexed by her son's harassment. Superintendent of Police Siddharth Kaushal told reporters here on Friday. The woman was identified as Lakshmamba. So police identified that her name was Lakshmamba and they arrested the woman as well as eight other persons. I mean along with uh, eight other persons. In addition to this woman, there were some eight other persons who were uh, arrested by the police because they were involved in the murder. So analysis of call data records revealed that Narasimhara was murdered by a rowdy cheater. So after going through the call records, the police figured out, I mean understood that a rowdy cheater whose name was Raghav Rao was involved in the murder. So why did he do this? Let us see a rowdy cheater. That's a person who has been found guilty of multiple crimes in the past. This man committed a few crimes before that. And that's why there was a rowdy sheet opened in a police station. So the police people found out him. The police people found him out finally. Now Raghav Rao murdered. Raghav Rao did this at the behest of the deceased man's mother. So let's look at at the behest of. Because someone has asked for something or ordered something to happen. Here, Narasimhara's mother wanted this Raghav Rao to kill her son. And that was the order she gave. And at the behest of somebody. Because she asked him to kill her son, he killed her. He killed him. He murdered him. And look at the next word here, deceased man. Deceased. Deceased means dead. So the dead man is Lakshmana Rao, Lakshmana Rao's mother ordered this. And who was reportedly vexed by her son's harassment. So Lakshmama was reportedly vexed by her son's harassment. Let's look at reportedly here, according to what some people say. So some people say that this woman was really vexed or irritated or worried by her son's behavior, son's harassment. Let's look at harassment and let's also look at vexed here. Vexed means annoyed or worried. This woman was very much annoyed or worried according to what some people say. And she was annoyed, 
with the harassment of her son. Harassment is the act of annoying or worrying somebody by putting pressure on them or saying or doing unpleasant things to them. Maybe according to what some people say, the woman was uh, harassed by this man, I mean her son. Okay, let's look at the next part here. Police said the accused had struck a deal for 1,70,000 rupees and paid 50,000 rupees as advance and another 55,000 rupees for doing away with her son's body. Police exhumed the body and recovered a knife, axe, crowbar and spade used to commit the offense. Let's look at these words here, the accused. The accused is the person who is blamed, who is guilty of a crime. A person who has committed a crime and the next one struck a deal so struck is actually the third form of strike so strike a deal is the basic expression it means to come to an agreement on a price or negotiation so this woman came into an agreement with this man Raghav Rao the contract killer for 1,70,000 rupees and he got 50,000 as advance he also got 55,000 rupees for doing away with her son's body. What is the meaning of do away with? This is a phrasal verb. It means to kill and get rid of someone. So for killing 1,70,000 rupees and uh, for doing away with the body. mean for getting rid of that body. For throwing that body uh, away secretly. Or for burying that body. For putting the dead body in the ground secretly. She gave him 55,000 rupees. And the police exhumed the body. Look at the word exhume. To remove a dead body from the ground, especially in order to examine how the person died. The police wanted to find out how the person died. That's why they removed the dead body from the ground and then found a knife. Recovered means here found a knife, axe, crowbar. Crowbar is a heavy iron bar used to lift something or force it open can have a look at this on the screen here and they also found a spade have a look at the picture here spade is a tool which is used for digging the ground and these things were used to commit the offense let's look at this expression commit the offense to commit an offense means to do something that is against the law offense is a crime something wrong something bad that's about it in this news article. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have understood everything that I have discussed. If there is anything that you want to discuss further, please mention that in the comment section. I will certainly respond to your comments. And don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you very much. I will see you in my next video.